Hi everybody, Australian Mining for New Starters here. Today I'm just going to start our weekly job hunting um, video. So um, one of the big mistakes people make when they first do it is they go in and they tap mining in and they get 10,000 odd results. And um, it just this just goes to show you that there's no one size fits all. You've got coal mining jobs mixed in with hard rock jobs, mixed in with utility jobs, mixed in with surface jobs. And each of those different areas of mining will require a different approach and it'll require a different resume. If you're using the same resume to apply for all these jobs, you're not going to get anywhere. All right. So um, for the process, uh, for the purposes of today's exercise, I'm going to concentrate on the Hard Rock Underground because that's where I know the most of the entry level jobs are. So if you type Underground in and hit Seek, you'll see the 1,700 odd jobs come up, and um, I like to narrow it down a little bit more from there. So if you're looking, you should be doing this regularly, every three days or so, just to keep on top of it, and it narrows it down. And um, when you're looking through this, not only are you looking for new starter jobs, but you're also looking for jobs like this, because the service crew jobs, they'll be that creates um, a new starter job underneath it. The same with the charge up and the bogger operator um, jobs. Uh, as everybody moves up, they have to bring on new starters for the nipper and truck driving roles. So if um, employers are advertising for service crew, bogger operators and charge up, sometimes it's a good idea just to whack your resume into them um, because they'll have movement in their ranks so people will be going up so they have to hire new starters for the entry level roles. And there's an entry level role. It, rarely do they put entry level on um, the actual jobs. One of the reasons that they don't do that is because they don't want to get swamped with a whole heap of resumes, um, which happens when you do do something like that. Like they'll get 10,000 resumes easy for that um, with having entry level on there. Um, yeah, so the HR departments are a bit circumspect about the way they word the ads. Um, you just need to be able to show the employer that you know how the industry works and you know what's going to be required of you when you get to site. And again, um, you can use the pages, um, the sponsor, uh, Underground Training has got some great online courses that can teach you exactly what you need to know to impress the employers. So if we come back up to the top again and we'll get a bit more specific and we'll actually look for the truck. Driving roll and hit that and then we'll do it at any time because the other thing that happens in our industry as well is that um, if the jobs are left up that means they're still looking if they've taken the jobs down that means it's all over so if you have a look at some of these jobs this is a new one west um, gold they're always looking for new truck drivers um, at the moment because they've got a high turnover everybody's got a high turnover so this is a truck um, gbf is um, a contractor miner so they're looking for people um, that's a labor hire recruiting in the eastern states uh, pry bar have got several mines in the eastern states that are all looking for people um, so if you can show them that you understand how the mine works and the jobs you know how you, you know what you're going to be expected of you as a truck driver or a nipper then um, yeah you've got something to offer them and there's lots around as you can see now you see um, some of these other these jobs they're 30 days old I'll find one that's a bit more relative that's a owner operator job the spin effects again their blue mountain job they're still looking that was 30 days ago and their previous job was up the top there core staff um, talk recruitment so minerals x uh, yeah dump truck operators underground operators so you keep going through and just keep looking. There's lots about. And the best way, and I know I keep going on about it, is to know how the mine works. And so you can um, impress the employers. And that's how we ended up with, or they ended up with the underground um, partnership program with KCA Site Services. The guys knew enough about the, um, the mine to impress them to start the partnership program. And um, yeah, if, if you can know what, how uh, the mine works and you can translate that into, um, into the interview, then you've really genuinely got something to offer the employers. Now, they all ask for six months experience, especially with the um, recruiters. 
Um, but the re the reality of the situation is is that there is nobody, and so all these um, the reason that all these ads are still up, and that's a this is a full crew ad, and this one runs often, is um, for um, jobs just outside of um, Cobar that'll fly and fly out of. Um, of uh, 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 Brisbane, and they're always looking for people because it's one of those industries that um, they go through a few people with the recruitment process in the recruitment process in the first six months when you're doing it. Um, yeah, so if you have a look again, more underground mining opportunities, Cobar, um, lots of stuff around the place. If you're on the surface, Mac is always a good place to start. They're always looking for people, not the best conditions, but always looking for people. But there's lots around, and you get the idea. And um, what you need to do is just get your mining knowledge up to speed and keep applying. And, um, yeah, you'll get a result. Lots do. Uh, if you want to, we'll check out the nipper now and see what happens with that. And there's a few come up. And there's nipper jobs in Queensland and again West Gold. And this is a good example of um, a nipper's job being left up at 16 days old. They're still looking for people. If the job's still up, they're still looking for people. What's probably happened is the person that they've hired for that job's probably failed already and they're looking for another one. And again, this is what happens. There's unfortunately, if you go in green, not knowing what's going on, then there's lots of failure. Now, a lot of these jobs ask for um, experienced nippers. Nobody's gonna get an experienced nipper these days. It's all entry level work. Um, five years ago, when there were a whole heap of um, people out of work, then yes, maybe it was, um, uh, and you could get an experienced nipper, but now with all the mines reopening and everybody, um, there's been so much demand, everybody's having to hire new starters for their nipper and truck driving roles. So that just gives you an idea of where the jobs are and how to look for them. And I hope that information helps. I will be doing one of these each week just to have a look where all the jobs are and help point out um, where people should be applying. Hope that information helps. Don't forget to use the pages or the channel's coupon code, which is AMNS2019, to get $60 off the do-it-yourself course. And that gives you the basic mine site operation, nipper and other important duties, truck, service crew, and the Australian Mining Seminar, which has goes into how to do your resume and the interview questions and tips you're going to be asked. So, um, yeah, you can get $60 off, and it brings it down to $390, which is a reasonable price to get your mining knowledge up to speed.